it's Mix. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of a different video from where I'm going to do makeup under 10 minutes. A lot of people like students and employees don't really have time to do their makeup and one of my best friends requested to requested me to do a more natural on the go type of look. So this is what I came up with. In this video, I will explain some essentials to this type of makeup look and I will say this in the video but I want to say it now that this makeup look will depend on your makeup style. You don't have to follow exactly what I would do. You can do like mascara, red lips, bold brows depending on your style. So. If you want to know how to do your makeup under 10 minutes, then keep on watching. I'll see you later! So I already have my primer. I'll set it to 10 minutes. I'm gonna start with 5, 4, 3, So first, I'm, gonna, I'm going in with my Lots of Love Liquid Foundation. I would use a concealer but I don't have, so I'll just use a foundation. And you want to put this on areas you have like dark circles, hyperpigmentation, like that. So for me, I'm going to put it first on my under eye. Because I do have dark circles and I'm going to put it normally where I would put my concealer like the triangle shape and bring it towards the temple You can put that there too. Now I'm gonna set it with powder. When you're on a rush, you do want a powder foundation rather than a liquid because it's faster. First, I'm gonna set everywhere where I put the foundation and then put it on the rest of my face. I'm gonna do my brows first because when you're on the go you want like some natural brows you do want just a definition I'm using the lots of love eyebrow pencil in brown I'm gonna blend it with a spoolie. This is the way I do my makeup when I, I'm gonna do some errands or I'm just going out to the groceries, to the, to the grocery store. Fan Fan eyeshadow in the shade Deep Rose Brown for some bronzer. This is optional by the way. You don't have to put bronzer if you don't want to. But the next step is essential. Now the next step, some blush. If you don't want a bronzer, of course you do want your cheeks to pop. So I would suggest Putting on some blush if you don't want some bronzer. To give your cheeks and your face some life. You can also use a cheek and lip tint that's really helpful for on the go. 
I'm also gonna use the eyeshadow to define the outer corners of my eyes. This is a great way on defining your eyes without being too harsh. Just the outer corner to make your eyes pop and appear more larger. You're down to four minutes. I'm also going to use it to define the crease a little bit. Second to the last step, some highlight. It's optional to highlight your cheek, but in certain areas, I think you should highlight like your tear, inner tear duct, especially your inner tear duct and the brow bone. I'm gonna put it on the inner corner. And the brow bone. And lastly, some lip balm. You can use any lip balm that you have, a tinted one. I really love the Maybelline Baby Lips, the cherry one. I finished before the timer. So after doing my makeup, I still have 1 minute and 30 seconds. In that time, you can put like mascara, curl your lashes. It really depends on your makeup style. If you want like mascara and curl your lashes, then do it. If you want to focus on your brows and not the face, then do it. If you want just brows, powder, and some tint, I normally would do this makeup style when I'm going to the grocery store or running some errands for my mom. I sometimes extend the 10 minutes depending on how good my brow would look. Normally, I would take so much time with my brows and just put on some powder and some lip balm. Again, this makeup look will depend on your makeup style, so you don't have to do everything that I said, but I think some essentials to this makeup look would be some powder foundation, because it's really hot here in the Philippines, and most of the time, makeup wearers or people in general here in the Philippines are oily. And next is your blush or your lip and cheek tint. This is a very versatile product, so you can use it just on your cheek even without powder. And the third is your lip balm. Most of the people I know have really really dry lips and sometimes it's caused by not drinking enough water. So you really want to moisturize and hydrate your lips. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the products used in this video will all be listed down below. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, that all will be linked down below or you can click all of the links here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! I think some essentials would be these. I think some essentials... I think